Determine if each graph represents a function that is even, odd, or neither. A function is even if f of x equals f of negative x, and the graph has symmetry across the y-axis. If a graph has symmetry across the y-axis, we can fold the graph across the y-axis, and the two halves match up perfectly. A function is odd if the opposite of f of x equals f of negative x, or f of x equals the opposite of f of negative x. And the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin. If a graph has rotational symmetry about the origin, if we turn or rotate the graph about the origin, less than one complete turn, or one complete rotation, and the graph looks exactly the same, the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin. So looking at the first graph, notice how if we were to fold this graph across the y-axis, let's say we fold it to the left, notice how the two halves match up perfectly, and therefore this graph represents an even function. This also means for all x values, f of x equals f of negative x. Let's test this using a point on the graph. Let's use this point here with the ordered pair four comma three. This ordered pair indicates when x is four, the y value or function value is three. So if we sub in four for x, we have f of four must equal f of negative four. Well, using this point here, we know f of four is equal to positive three. And to find f of negative four, we would use this point, the corresponding point on the left side of the graph, with the ordered pair negative four comma three, which means f of negative four is also positive three. So this does verify this equation works when x equals four. Now looking at the second graph, if we try to fold this graph across the y-axis, we can quickly see the two halves will not match up perfectly, and therefore this is not an even function. Let's see if it's an odd function. To test for an odd function, we turn or rotate the graph about the origin, this point here, and if it takes less than one complete rotation or one turn, so the graph looks exactly the same, the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin. And notice for this graph, if we rotate this graph half a turn or 180 degrees, let's say in this direction here, the graph would look exactly the same, and therefore it does have rotational symmetry about the origin. With half a turn, the right side of the graph would look like the left side, and the left side would look just like the right side. So this is an odd function. Which means the opposite of f of x must equal f of negative x. Let's test this for x equals one. When x equals one, this would be the point on the graph with the ordered pair one comma two. So in our equation we have the opposite of f of one equals f of negative one. Well we know f of one is equal to two, so the opposite of f of one would be negative two. And now let's find the point on the graph when x equals negative one, which would be this point here. The ordered pair here is negative one comma negative two, which means f of negative one is also negative two which does satisfy the equation. And now for the last graph, if we try to fold this graph across the y-axis, the two halves do not match up perfectly, and therefore this is not an even function. Let's see if it has rotational symmetry about the origin. If we turn to rotate this graph about the origin, notice how to make the graph look exactly the same, we would have to rotate the graph or turn the graph one complete rotation in order for it to look exactly the same, and therefore this does not have rotational symmetry about the origin, and therefore this graph represents a function that is neither odd or even. So we say neither. I hope you found this helpful.